Now if you do some searches you will find um, if you look for Thomas Townsend Brown on YouTube you will actually find some laboratory videos and these experiments were done a long time ago experiments into electrogravity and people have tried to say that oh um, these effects were nothing to do with uh, actual electromagnetic effects on gravity but that these were purely ion wind that is to say the air is moved from one terminal to the other creating lift or creating propulsion now as part of these experiments you will notice the use of a vacuum chamber there it is and when these experiments were done obviously a paper was actually published and it was immediately classified and these studies have been done time and time again by various different people every time they're done the papers are classified and um, the results just simply disappear from the mainstream science record now there's also a set of letters from Townsend Brown and if you do a real search you can find these but it's very very difficult to find any mainstream science proof that there is an electromagnetic force at work here um, despite something that's puzzled me for many years and that is that the dip in the Earth's magnetic field that exists that's over the top of um, certain areas of the Pacific actually coincides with a mass concentration a increase in the Earth's gravitic field so it could very well be that what we see as the Earth's magnetic field isn't really produced by some spinning lump of iron at the centre at all it's actually produced as a side effect of gravity and discontinuitous gravity at that and um, I've searched for quite some time looking for some sort of paper that could actually prove it and I finally found one um, and I will share the URL with you I'm not going to put the URL in because I've had videos on this subject disappear before now and this is prompting me maybe to do my own little experiments on anti-gravity I am the proud possessor of a 400 kV power supply so it should be possible for me to do this um, if I do then I will post it obviously I'll post the results and um, yeah it looks real guys let's go and have a look at the paper So this is just a quick video and um, here we go proof that electrogravity is real and this paper was published in 1999 and this has just been brought to my attention and uh, it's kind of a crack in the official story about electrogravity and the actual paper is very complicated so I don't expect you to read it all and uh, it's by Sukanta Bose and Naresh Dadic at the Inter-University Centre for Astronomy and Astrophysics and it's on the electrogravity dual solution to stringy charged black holes let's have a look at the abstract and there's a lot of jargon in here but you don't really have to worry about that like I do all you have to worry about is what it says basically by resolving the Riemann curvature tensor which is a mathematical concept relative to a time-like unit vector into electrical magnetic parts electrogravity duality transformation is defined so what does this mean this means that gravity can be affected by electromagnetic waves 
Such a transformation interchanges the active and passive electrical parts of this tensor and can be used to obtain space-time metrics dual to known solutions of any geometric theory of gravity such as Einstein gravity. So what does that really mean? That really means that the tensor, which is a mathematical concept again, which describes gravity, has electrical and magnetic parts. And they're here applying this to, to black holes. And in the introduction it says, it is well known that one can extract the electric and magnetic parts of the gravitational field from the Riemann curvature sensor. So here we have the only paper that I've been able to find that's reasonably recent that actually discusses electrogravity and confirms that electrogravity is in fact real. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little revelation from our scientific friends. And normally physicists, when they publish papers on electrogravity, they're immediately classified and they're not available to the public. However, this one you can find on the internet. And um, I will just show you the rather nastily complex, um, the rather nastily complex URL so that you can go and actually have a look for yourself. And I'm afraid you'll have to type it in. I'm not going to put a link. Why am I not going to put a link? Because I don't want my video to disappear. I've linked things before and they've actually made my video disappear. So I don't want it to disappear. I want this to actually stay. So I'm going to put this link in big letters across this video so that you guys can all go and have a look for yourself. I think that should be readable for you all. And for those of you who are blind, it's http colon double slash 202.141.155.12 colon 8080 x slash xml ui bit slash bitstream slash handle slash 11007 slash 2926 slash 17 dash 199 dot pdf question mark sequence equals one nastily complex url you try searching on google proper you can't find it however there is a search engine called google scholar which has allowed me to find this so i hope you've enjoyed this and found it uh, interesting if you have obviously please like and subscribe Thank you very much.